Hi, I'm Dan Touch, President of Endspace and Director of Sword Coast Legends, a one to four player D&D RPG that brings together the gameplay experience between players and a Dungeon Master. In this two-part series, we're going to show you both player and Dungeon Master gameplay, starting this week with single player. Today we're joined by Tim Schwock, our Design Director. Tim's adventure has led him deep into the sewers beneath the city of Luskin. He's out for revenge, searching for the Ashen Priest, a necromancer responsible for the slaughter of his order, the Burning Dawn. Tim's contact in Luskin may know the whereabouts of the Ashen Priest, but the city gates are closed, forcing him to find another way in. You can see he has a well-balanced traditional D&D party with a fighter, rogue, cleric, and wizard. He can select can an individual, a group, I'm here. or the entire party and give Something them a I wide can... range of commands. He can also pan, rotate, and zoom the camera to get a better view of the action. Yes. Is this really the only way into Luskin? Unless you want to storm the gates and deal with those guards, that is. <sighs> well, there weren't that many guards. As Tim searches for a way into Luskin, he finds this alchemy table. He can search it, possibly finding more loot, or even another quest. All rewards for exploring with his party. Look, a fresh corpse. I think the Ashen Priest would have burned him to a crisp. This fool wasn't killed by your necromancer, you idiot. It was cut down by a blade from behind. We're in dead rat's turf. I'm starting to feel like this was a bad plan. Tim has stumbled across this poor soul, a victim of the dead rats, one of the gangs that inhabit the sewers beneath Luskin. Now, it wouldn't really be right to leave this body here. Well, not without looting it first. And it turns out he did have some nice gear, a plus two longsword. Sword Coast Legends has a fully featured party inventory that allows the player to customize each party member. Tim is going to equip his fighter with his plus two longsword, and he's going to give his cleric this ring of regeneration. It looks like Tim has found some dead rats up ahead. Look out! Across the bridge! Sorcos Legends features tactical, party-based combat with pause and play, like many classic RPGs, such as Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights, and Dragon Age Origins. What Tim will give mean? his party some commands and unpause the game. Yes. Now, pause and play is optional, so if you're feeling confident, you can play without it. Yes? What can I do for you? That's the seal of ship curve. Looks like one of their men is working with the dead rats. We should take it to ship curve sometime after we get into Luskin. They'll want to know about this. It looks like these dead rats had a seal of ship curve, one of the five ruling factions of Luskin. Tim should follow up with their high captain when he gets a chance. All right. Uh, shouldn't there be an exit around here somewhere? I don't know, lad. Maybe we should look for one? We know that the entrance to Luskin has to be down here somewhere, so Tim's gonna have his rogue actively search the area. Uh, if you say so. Sure. Seems like a plan. It looks like Tim has found a way into Luskin. Located far in the north along the Sword Coast, Luskin is often referred to as the City of Sails and serves as a gateway to the spine of the world in Icewind Dale. Now that Tim has found his way into the city, he needs to get to the Cutlass Inn and meet with his contact. Uh, if you say so. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah. I don't see this so that often, I know. <laughs> uh, but I could use a bath. Maybe when we're done with our contact at the Cutlass, we can stop and rest for a bit? By the looks of this guy, we appear to be close to the tavern. Sure. Uh, if you say so. This is the Cutlass Inn. It's here where the legendary barbarian Wolfgar met his wife, Deli Curdy. Seems like a plot. Now you certainly took your time getting here. Tim's companions will react to his choices 
creating a meaningful impact on his story. No, that's the second most important thing. Most important thing is, you made me wait. We were told you have information for us about the Ashen Priest. I never said that. I said I could get you information. Unfortunately, Luther, the guy with that information, is even later than you are. Like I told you before, I don't know why you'd want to go after the Ashen Priest anyway. It's your funeral. Last time I spoke to Luther, he was making a trip out to the slums. Then I heard noise about undead in the cemetery out there, and nothing from him since. If someone got wind that Luther had information about the Ashen Priest, it's possible someone arranged an accident for him. Help yourself. I know I'm not going out there. It turns out that Tim's contact has gone missing. We need to get to the slums. Yeah, yeah. All right. Isn't the sea sprite out there in the water somewhere? You know, Captain Dudermont's ship? That's it, or what's left of it. Wow. Imagine what Luskin would be like if he'd managed to clean the city up. I ain't worth speculating, lad. It didn't happen. Luskin is a rough city, but nowhere is it rougher than in the slums. And here you are. Of course, I'd find you close by while evil runs through the slums of Luskin. Tim is running to Sir Banagar. Now, Banagar is only here because we spared his life in a previous encounter. Tim may regret that decision now and can choose to kill him, or he could try to get his help. I... I know. I killed your friend and still you spared my life. On that day, I saw the truth of your soul, that despite evil's grip on you, you remain capable of compassion. As long as that remains true, no knight who answers to me shall spill your blood this day. All who have entered here are assumed lost. Unlike yourselves, the undead here take no prisoners, leave no one alive. Given your mercy the last time we met, I'd be inclined to help you find your friend. If you'll have me. Come. If your friend is alive, then he hasn't much time. Ahead, my comrades. On to blessed victory. It looks like Tim's decided to ask for his help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you say so. Sure. This fight's gonna be a little tougher. So Tim's going to have his cleric bless the party. He's going to have his rogue and wizard take out that archer while his fighter tanks these zombies. And of course, now he has Banagar's help. Of course. Do you... What do you need? Yes. We all so much for our contact. Now what? Wait, this man's spine is broken in two. No normal zombie could do something like this. We must move on before these damned creatures claim another victim. It looks like Tim's search for his contact has come to an undead end. This ogre zombie is surrounded by undead. Can I help? So Tim's gonna try to take care of them with a fireball before his party gets into melee range. What's up? Yes? Ah, they got some ogre on me. 
Now more confident than ever that the Ashen Priest is at the center of this, Tim will continue his quest for revenge next week. However, instead of finishing this quest in single player, we're going to create a dungeon crawl with the Ashen Priest and have Ross Gardner, our technical director, join Tim as Dungeon Master. Thank you for watching, and see you next week.